New tonight at 6, June is dairy month here in Wisconsin, and area farmers are still struggling to recover from the pandemic. News 9's Amanda Lojeski caught up with an area farmer. She joins us live in the newsroom with more. Amanda. The farming industry as a whole hasn't been able to catch a break. A wet spring last year affecting crop production and now the coronavirus. Still, farmers across our area continue to feel the impact. So much of this has been out of our control. COVID-19 and the dairy industry. It's been a roller coaster ride, if I could say it that way. Unprecedented and, shall we say, very volatile. Leaving dairy farmers to question. You're out there just scratching your head going, what's going to happen today? Staying in the business. We really didn't know what to expect. When, the, when this first started and the milk prices uh, really crashed because of all the businesses being closed down. You know, it's estimated that about half of the dairy is for out of home sales. So your restaurants, your sporting events, your schools. And so with that shutting down, that cut the demand on dairy products by 50%. But it's not just milk prices that are dropping. Cow numbers are actually starting to go down. We've also seen a drop in milk production as well. So we're only up 1% compared to 2.5% last month. So for the industry as a whole? So they went from a bad situation to an even worse situation. We're hoping so. Future prices has milk prices going up. You know, but I would be cautiously optimistic. With so much still unknown. But it's a learning curve for us as well because the status quo isn't the status quo anymore. It is it is a complete a complete reversal of things of how they used to be. Typically June is a time to celebrate. It really just came on as a month to celebrate dairy, to celebrate our Wisconsin heritage. And still some farmers finding a way to stay optimistic. It's coming along slowly but it is moving in the right direction. As these are unprecedented times for everyone, it's important to remember that there are resources out there to help you get back on your feet. Live in the newsroom, Amanda Lojeski, News 9 WAOW.